Baby shower questions, cut one. Action. <laughs> okay, Derek, we are here and I have a few questions for you that I want to go through before you become a father. Mm -hmm. And I want to make sure that you are prepared enough to take care of this baby for my friend, okay? Okay. <laughs> we'll see what I can do. All right, okay. So I'm going to ask you just a series of questions and just answer them based on like you know what you know and 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 we'll talk about it yeah. okay how many diapers does a baby go through in a year um let me take a quick guess let's see three thousand six hundred and fifty okay the correct answer is 2,200. Okay, my next question. Who will be getting up in the middle of the night to feed the baby? As we all know, um, <laughs> <laughs> I am um, a morning person, so I would think that my lovely wife, Kristen, will be getting up in the middle of the night to feed the baby. Yes. At birth, does a baby have kneecaps? No. Good job, Derek. Okay. Adults laugh an average of 60 times a day. How often does a toddler laugh? Uh, let's see. I would say at least doubled 120 times a day. The correct answer is 300 times. Oh, wow. That's a lot. Yeah, that is a lot. <laughs> um, which of you two will be the disciplinary and which of you will be the softy? I think I'll probably be the disciplinarian and Kristen will be the softy. I think. Okay. Do you think your baby will be born with no hair, a full head of hair, or in between? think a full head of hair. Kristen has been having some major uh, indigestion and so I think it will be a full head of hair. We know it's a girl so what but are you going to be most worried about? I think the biggest thing I'm going to be worried about is when she comes home one day from school probably and says this boy likes her. Yes. So that's what that is going to be difficult. <laughs> yes, definitely. Which grandparent will be your baby will spoil your baby the most? I don't know. That's a tough question. Um, I think probably. I don't know. I, I'd say all of them equally. Okay. Good answer. From one to ten, how prepared do you feel for Danica's arrival? Six point seven five out of ten. We're not ever always all prepared. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good number. Okay, Derek, what parenting skills are you bringing to the table? Oh, that's easy. Hard work, dedication, pride in what you do. I think also bring. I also think that we bring a lot of love into the family. I'm a very loving person, and I think I have a lot to share. I agree. Uh, what age does a baby start eating solids? Oh, uh, a year. Correct answer is four months. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> that's, that was... <laughs> what was your favorite childhood toy? Oh, let's see here. My favorite childhood toy must have been... I remember this teddy bear thing called the Teddy Ruxpin that played a tape. And I remember as a kid really liking that. That one was a good one. According to the nursery rhyme, little girls are made of what? Mm -hmm. 
fairies. <laughs> <laughs> Little girls are made of sugar and spice and oh, everything oh, nice. Okay, okay, okay. I knew that. <laughs> if you could take your baby on a trip anywhere in the world, where would you go? If I could go anywhere in the world, I think I would go to... Um, probably Denmark. I've always wanted to go to Northern Europe, so I think that's where I'd go. What are you most looking forward to about being a dad? I think I'm really looking forward to um, literally like I feel like a little like a, a big little kid. So I look forward to playing and like getting involved in sports and activities and I mean really just kind of diving in and helping with homework. I just I feel like I'm ready for that role. Are there any last things or comments that you want to say to Kristen and Danica before the arrival? I'm just going to say woo!